So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of PIB 247 where we are going to discuss some more questions from the PIB news which are relevant for all the government exams. Alright, so let's begin with the session and let's talk about the very first question which is about a scheme and remember this scheme is not that important. It will, if, if any question will come uh, from this particular scheme, it will definitely be of one mark. Okay. So the question is Ministry of Ayush, which is headed by Mr. Sarbanan Sonowal, is implementing scheme for promotion of international cooperation in Ayush. How many components are there under the scheme? And when I'm saying that any particular scheme is not that important, this means that you don't have to go into the details of that scheme. Okay. In that manner, it is not important. Otherwise, when I am discussing it, it automatically becomes important. Getting my point? If I am saying that it is not important, it is important. This means that we don't have to go into details. This means that it is not important and we have to leave it and leave it. Because one marker question can be asked from that particular scheme. Okay? So how many components are there under the scheme? So let me tell you, it is not a new scheme. It is in news because a recent reply was submitted in uh, the parliament by the Ministry of Ayush with respect to this scheme. All right. So Ministry of Ayush is already implementing this scheme for promotion of international cooperation in Ayush sector. Now, what are the objective of this scheme? As the name suggests, as I have told you uh, so many times that you can easily extract the objective and the aims of uh, that scheme from the name itself. So what is the name of scheme? Promotion of international cooperation in Ayush. So the scheme intends to promote the international cooperation in Ayush by different means. All right. So that is the objective. In what areas this international cooperation, this cooperation will be in these areas. Number one, export of Ayush products and services. Number two, facilitate international promotion, development and recognition of Ayush system of medicine foster interaction of stakeholders and finally promoting uh, academics and research. Now you don't have to remember all these things. Yes, of course, just remember that this scheme is intended towards promotion, uh, promoting the international cooperation in the IU sector. That's it. If you have so much, if you have so much, if you want to use it, if you want to use it, if you want to use it, so that is enough. All right. Now, which are these six components? Three components hai iske andar. Number one is international exchange of experts and officers, incentive to drug manufacturers, support for international market development. Then we have translation and publication of Ayush books in the foreign languages, establishment of Ayush information cells through which information uh, are being provided to various stakeholders, and finally scholarship for foreign nationals so that they can have the Ayush education in the country. All right. So these are the six components of this scheme and again let me tell you there is no need to remember the name of all these components just remember that there are six components under this scheme that is enough. So here in this scheme you just have to remember that there are six components and what is the basic objective of this scheme and of course the ministry. Ministry bhi yaad rakhne ki jurat nahi hai because when there is this word Ayush then the ministry must be the ministry of Ayush right. जब हमारे पास ये वर्ड है आयुष का तो ऑफ कोर्स द मिनिस्ट्री मस्ट बी द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष ओनली ऑलराइट सो नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू द क्वेश्चन देन हाउ मेनी कंपोनेंट्स आर देयर सो देयर आर गाइस सिक्स कंपोनेंट्स अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम सो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप दिस क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 2 विद व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सिविल एविएशन व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय मिस्टर ज्योति राजित्य सिंधिया is organizing Wings India 2022. So this is a this is an event Wings India 2022 which is being organized by Ministry of Civil Aviation. And let me tell you it is being organized in collaboration with Fikki. Okay, Fikki ke saath isko organize kar rahe All right, so now let's talk more about this. Remember this event. This event is intended to focus on new business acquisition, investment, policy formulation and regional connectivity in the area of aviation sector in the area of aviation and it it intends to connect all the buyers all the sellers all the investors and all the other stakeholders in this sector at one platform and remember it is being this brings india 2022 it is being organized at uh, hyderabad 
it is being organized at hyderabad where in hyderabad at this airport which is known as begum pet airport theek hai begum pet airport hai hyderabad mein wahan pe isko organize kiya ja raha hai all right and wings india awards 2022 will also be distributed to the to those aviation company which have impacted which have created an impact in the aviation sector in the last financial year okay to aisi companies ko award bhi diya jayega all these points in all these points you just have to remember this one where it is being organized it is being organized at begum pet begum pet airport hyderabad because in this particular line there is nothing to remember this is just for the additional information regarding wings india that what they are doing in this event all right and of course the objective what is the objective of this event why it was organized all right and yes very importantly you should remember that it is it was organized it is being organized currently uh by ministry of civil aviation in collaboration with fikki and who is the chairperson of fikki by the way sanjeev mehta sanjeev mehta is the chairperson of fikki all right so therefore the correct answer is what option e sahi jawab kya hai ji option e hai fikki so now let's talk about question number 3 how much percent of global population are to be vaccinated by mid 2022 as per the target set by who and here we are talking about covid vaccination okay we are talking about covid vaccination so how much percent of global population are to be vaccinated by covid any of the covid vaccine by mid 2022 as per the set as per the target set by who now is this a recently set target no then why we are discussing it because ye news mein aaya hai pib ke so that's why we are discussing at the important news is that the brics vaccine rnd center brics vaccine rnd center has been organized by the union health minister mr mansukh mandavia who is also of course the minister of chemical and fertilizer now why this center has been established what is the objective of establishing this center kyu banaya gaya hai this is for offering india's manufacturing expertise in development of covid vaccine so that this expertise can be used for developing vaccines for the brics nation ताकि इंडिया की जो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्सपर्टीज है इन द एरिया ऑफ कोविड वैक्सीन उसका इस्तेमाल किया जा सके ताकि ब्रिक्स के नेशन के लिए भी वैक्सीन डेवलप हो सके उतने ही ज्यादा अमाउंट राइट एंड इसी में बात की गई थी ड्यूरिंग दिस इवेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस इनोग्रेशन इवेंट बात हुई थी दैट इट विल ऑल्सो हेल्प इन अचीविंग दी डब्ल्यू एच ओ टारगेट ऑफ वैक्सीनेटिंग सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द ग्लोबल पॉपुलेशन बाय मिड टू तो कितना टारगेट है सेवेंटी परसेंट टारगेट राइट एंड यू रिमेम्बर ये आर एन डी सेंटर बनाने की बात जो थी द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन दी जोहानिसबर्ग इन द जोहानिसबर्ग डिक्लेरेशन इन दर टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन बट फाइनली ऑल द नेशन अग्रीड टू एस्टेब्लिश इज इन द न्यू दिल्ली डिक्लेरेशन विच वॉज हेल्ड रिसेंटली इन द थर्टीन ब्रिक्स समिट ओके तो बेसिकली इसकी बात कब से शुरू हुई थी दो हजार अठारह जोहानिसबर्ग समिट से लेकिन उसके बाद फाइनली इसको एक्सेप्ट किया गया कब न्यू दिल्ली डिक्लेरेशन में ऑफ 13th brics summit that was held recently all right so brics vaccine r&d center has been inaugurated by mansukh mandavia and here the correct answer should be option c 70% iska sahi jawab kya hona chahiye 70% all right and now let's talk about question number 4 very very important question and it will be asked in your one mark theek hai do marks mein nahi aayega ye which of the following organizations has organized The fifth edition of Women Transforming India Awards 2022. These awards were started in the year 2018 under the Women Entrepreneurship Platform, Women Entrepreneurship Program of Niti Aayog. I hope you know this. This Women Entrepreneurship Program, or you can say platform, is being run by uh, Niti Aayog. All right, and under this this program, these awards are being distributed since the year 2018 every year. this was the fifth edition all right so therefore the correct answer will be what option a niti aayog okay niti aayog is ka sahi answer hai moving ahead to question number 5 what was the target of exports set by the government of india for financial year 2021 22 so you must have heard this news that india has achieved the export target of this financial year financial year khatam hone se pehle hi theek hai and what was the target by the way that was 400 billion dollars theek hai target kitna tha 400 billion dollar tha and india has achieved this target before the completion of this financial year kyunki financial year to 31st march to complete hoga the financial year is going to be ended on 31st march 
and even before ending the ending of the financial year the government of india or you can say india has achieved this target of 400 billion dollar of exports all right so this was about this question and what should be the correct answer then option a 400 billion dollars all right so let's move ahead then and now guys ab dekho kyunki rbi ka exam aane wala hai now rbi exam is coming so i have decided ki agar कुछ ऐसी इंफॉर्मेशन होती है विच यू कैन यूज इन योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव आई ब्रिंग दैट टू यू और राइट तो दे इन इन पी आई बी अंडर द हेडिंग ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर यू नो न्यूज वर्स देयर रिगार्डिंग स्टेप्स टेकन बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू अचीव द यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज एंड आई बिलीव दिस यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज कैन बी आस्ट इन योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव पार्ट ऑफ ई एस आई ई एस आई के डिस्क्रिप्टिव पार्ट में पूछा जा सकता है तो so, इसके अंदर बहुत ही ब्यूटीफुली कुछ पॉइंट्स गिवन थे सो आई हैव गैदर्ड ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स फॉर यू सो यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ ऑल दीज पॉइंट्स इन योर इन एनी ऑफ योर डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज दे कैन डायरेक्टली आस्क यू दैट व्हाट स्टेप्स हैव बीन टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू अचीव यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज और इन एनी अदर वे दे कैन आस्क एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू द यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज ऑलराइट सो इन दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दीज पॉइंट्स विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू ऑलराइट सो अब आने वाले जितने भी सेशंस होंगे आई विल ट्राई कि इस तरीके की कोई चीज आपके सामने में लेके आऊँ ताकि ये आपके आने वाले एग्जाम में हेल्पफुल हो और अभी तीन महीने हैं और तीन महीने में इस तरीके से अगर हम इन्फॉर्मेशन गैदर करते रहेंगे देन यू विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टू राइट इन योर आंसर्स ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्टिव एज वेल एज इन योर एस ओके तो ये सबसे पहले आपको ऑफकोर्स इन एवरी क्वेश्चन और इन एवनी एस यू हैव टू गिव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन सो यू कैन स्टार्ट लाइक दिस ठीक है द क्वेश्चन इज What are the steps taken by the government of India to achieve the universal health coverage? Okay, so you can start like this. The national health policy formulated in 2017 envisages to provide universal access to good quality healthcare services through increasing access, increasing affordability by lowering the cost of healthcare delivery and equity. So you have started with national health policy 2017, which talks about the universal health coverage. Okay. and iske la you can also start with sdg theek hai because sdg also talks about the universal health coverage by the year 2030 so choice is yours theek hai so maine aapko ek sample diya hai aap yahan se start kar sakte ho it otherwise you can start with sdg also the policy envisages as its goal the attainment of the highest possible level of health and well being for all uh, at all ages theek hai and the policy is centered on the key principles of equity affordability universality patient centeredness quality of care accountability inclusive partnership pluralism and decentralization etc etc aur bhi agar aapke words pe dimag mein aate hain to wo bhi likh dena theek hai aur itne isse itne bhi nahi aate isse do char bhi aate hain to that is enough theek hai ghabrana nahi so this is how you can give a brief introduction before telling the examiner that what are the steps that have been taken by the government of india to achieve this universal health coverage okay dekho kabhi bhi answer likhoge to उससे पहले एक इंट्रोडक्शन देना होता है रिगार्डिंग द कीवर्ड व्हाट इज द कीवर्ड हेयर यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज राइट तो उसके रिस्पेक्ट में आपको एक इंट्रोडक्शन देना होगा देन यू विल हैव टू मूव टुवर्ड्स द एक्चुअल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ आफ्टर गिविंग एन इंट्रोडक्शन यू कैन मूव अहेड टू व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स टेकन बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया तो उस पीआईबी के आर्टिकल में चार पांच uh, जो अम्ब्रेला स्कीम्स है गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया की वो मैंशन थी तो आप ये भी लिख सकते हो एंड इसके अलावा भी देर आर वेरियस स्कीम्स विच आर बीइंग रन बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू अचीव दिस माइल स्टोन तो नंबर वन इज नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन सो एज वी ऑल नो अंडर दिस मिशन फाइनेंशियल एंड टेक्निकल सपोर्ट इज बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड टू द स्टेट्स एंड यूटीज सो दैट दे कैन प्रोवाइड क्वालिटी एंड अफोर्डेबल हेल्थ केयर टू द सिटीजन नंबर वन नंबर टू इज पी आयुष्मान भारत हेल्थ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्कीम विच इन शॉर्ट इज पी एम अभीम पी एम अभीम this is to develop the capacities of primary secondary and tertiary health systems so basically as the name suggests this scheme this mission is focused on developing health infrastructure across the country whether it is primary health infrastructure whether it is secondary or it is tertiary all right another step ayushman bharat as we all know that under this particular uh, scheme the government of india is providing 5 lakh insurance health insurance to all the eligible households then ayushman bharat ke andar hi we are establishing the government is establishing health and wellness centers uh, to to you know uh, basically jo primary health care centers hain 
ठीक है उनका उनकी एफिशिएंसी को इंक्रीज करने के लिए ठीक है टू इनहेंस द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ द प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेंटर्स द आयुष्मान भारत हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस सेंटर्स आर बीइंग एस्टैब्लिश्ड अक्रॉस द कंट्री एंड आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन एज वी ऑल नो इट वाज लॉन्च्ड टू ब्रिज द एग्जिस्टिंग गैप अमंग डिफरेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑफ हेल्थ केयर इकोसिस्टम थ्रू डिजिटल मींस ऑलराइट अदर देन दिस यू कैन आल्सो राइट दैट ओके दीस आर द अम्ब्रेला स्कीम्स व्हिच आर वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स दिस यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज but other than this other uh, jo alag alag sectors hai like for example for women there are various schemes for women specially there are various schemes like we have uh, pradhan mantri matru vandana yojana janani suraksha yojana we have janani shishu suraksha yojana we have we have suman yojana which is surakshit matritva abhiyan theek hai and we have lakshya theek hai we have lakshya theek hai so all these things can also be added in this answer Right and finally you have to give a good conclusion that yes, government of India, which is, ah, very good work. Government of India strives towards achieving the universal health coverage, and for that, government has taken various steps, which have been mentioned above. All right. So this is how you can write a good answer of any particular question based on universal health coverage. All right. So that's it for the session today, guys. And let me tell you that uh, we have launched a crash course for RBI Grade B 2022. And guys, let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. The RBI is out with a huge number of vacancies. That is 238. Last year there were also 200 plus vacancies, but that was for two batches of 2020 and 21. This year for the single batch of 2022 there are 238 vacancies. So you can imagine that ये आपके लिए बिल्कुल एक golden chance है. So to grab this golden chance, we have we are out with the RBI Grade B crash course in which you can get everything. you can download you can you can uh, you can get the downloadable pdf you can get all the live sessions you can get the comprehensive videos of all the topics you will have the mock test of uh, each and every subject like for phase 1 you will get it for phase 2 you will get it uh, for descriptive you will get it so everything will be provided in this rbi grade b crash course and you, if you want to enroll in this course course you can download this app now in this app you will get this app is basically a one stop solution for all your preparation in this app you can get everything like you will have daily gk quizzes exam updates top strategies live video sessions etc etc and you can download it from google play store so and you can follow me here if you want to and you can ask anything related to examination so that's it for the session today i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next session on monday goodbye take care and god bless